Hi, um, once again it's James here and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to, um, you know, do some rendering and some text, uh, uh, what shall I call it, you know, how to finalize your intro and all, and all of that, yeah, in Blender and also to um, upload to YouTube and all that. Um, in my case, I like as you can obviously see here. I already have my uh, intro thing set up. So what you're gonna have to do is um, like go all the way to the top here and you know click on the animation button. And if you're already familiar with Blender, you might wanna like modify some of the settings over here. Um, in most cases you might want to change the resolution or any of that and um, the purpose of this video is to teach you guys how to finally render uh, a text intro in Blender okay and once again I apologize uh, I'm in college right now and um, you know you might be experiencing some noise going on okay so without spending too much time with you know all of that so what you're gonna have to do is uh, um, you know do all those editing and all that and make sure that you click the the camera uh, icon at the upper right of blender over here okay okay so the next thing you're gonna have to do is the hold button okay so after doing that as you can obviously see, I already have my um, camera in motion, so when I move this frame, um, it goes, you know, in action and all that. And mind you guys, um, as you guys can see that there there's a brighter line and some lines are a little bit darker. The brighter ones are, is meant to be the focus, the main focus for the, uh, like it's all you would see. Let me put it like, let me put it that way. It is all you would see when you finalize your rendering. Okay, so let's say this is right here. Um, let's hit the uh, the control have twelve to render and see what it will look like. Okay. Yeah, as you can guys can obviously it um it is going to render the part where the uh, the lighter part is. At the camera, okay. So I'm just gonna hit the skip button for now, okay. So yeah. So yeah, that works. So so after going through all of that, what you're gonna have to do is go, um, you know, help. I, I would recommend you guys to just play around with all of this um, for faster rendering. I would recommend you go for the number eight anti-aliasing okay so um, and most people would prefer to have a really really short um, intro mine is a little bit long it's about 11 seconds so um, to expect to make this longer or make it shorter all you gotta do is just edit this values around here so as you guys can obviously see this starts around one at the first frame and ends at 400 okay so let's say you want to end by uh, you want to end by 360 all you gotta do is just click on this and hit the 360 button and click enter so when you do that um, it stops here it stops here and um yeah and um one thing I would also like to teach you guys is to is the the frame rates most people might be like what does it mean you know there are two things in Blender that has to do with frame rates the first one is the frame that counts as seconds and you know on the timeline and the second one is the one that involves smooth and you know 
um, you know, more impressive type of a. Uh, um, I really don't know how to say this, but one thing about the human eyes is that uh, it moves in about 40. The human eyes is capable of seeing 30 frames per second, but 30 to about 60 frames per second. So most people would prefer to go 60, but in my case, I like to go a little bit towards 29 and 30. So um, it depends on the type of you know the person that you are actually. Okay. So I um, once again uh, I apologize the noise and all that, um, but uh, I would go for uh, 30 because 30 seems to be a little bit smoother. You could tell the difference between 30 and 24. Okay, so let's go 30 for now. And for those who are new to Blender, to rotate, you click the middle bounce button. To zoom forward is the scrolling wheel, the scrolling wheel. So it's, you just do the scrolling wheel and move the scrolling wheel forward and backward, back and forth, and it moves that. Okay, and um, and I hope that you guys already have this set up. If you haven't had it set up already, you might want to go back to my previous tutorials on how to make a 3D text intro in Blender. Okay, so after doing that, all you gotta do is um, change this at the lower right of Blender. You should be able to see this. Well, it depends on how you get your things set up because in my case, I Sometimes I like to draw this um, to side to a side, and sometimes I like to move this to you know a little bit. I like to change the, the view of it. Sometimes I would hit the one button for this one, and I would hit about three button for this one. So it goes in in perspective and orthographical mode. Okay, so um, whichever works for you. Yeah, and um, I don't know. Yeah. So when you already have that set up, then you're gonna have to go down here to uh, the place, the placeholders. So when you click this down, I would I would recommend you guys choose the H.24264 uh, video um, codec format. That's what I use. Um, I mean, you can use the AVG, uh, AVI JPEG. The AVI RAW, but I most of the times prefer to use the uh, H.264 mode. Okay, and before I proceed, I would also like to go back a little, little bit to the resolution at the top. And as I'm making this tutorial right now, you guys might be, you know, experiencing some like you might not see the the cursor move and stuff like that because it happens most of the time with some of my videos but uh, I apologize um, it happens due to the um, inability of my video editing software to capture the cursor sometimes okay so what you're gonna have to do is type in 1280 at the top resolution and at the bottom you're gonna have to type in um, 720. Well, you could go a little bit lower. Um, in most cases, you might want to choose 720 by 460p. But I, most of the times, like to choose the 1280 by 720p at 50% uh, quality rates. Okay. So we already have that set up. Um, then I think we should be able to go with the rendering. But one more thing I would like you guys to do is, um, if you guys would go scroll all the way down to a tab that says output, you should be able to see uh, um, um, uh, an area that says open a file browser uh, and you know all, all that. And I would want you guys to click on this right here. And you're gonna have to navigate where you want your uh, video to render to. In my case, I would want mine to um, be on my desktop. Most of it. The reason why I want it to be on a desktop is because some of you might not be familiar with the way things work with Blender. But um, 
there is a document folder around here and there's a desktop around here but in this situation I would want to put put it in the desktop okay so in one other thing you would like to you would want to do is name your file so I'm just gonna name mine intro intro James I'll just put a random name yeah you can name in one and number whatever but I prefer to to name mine this okay so after doing that intro James that's the title name you're gonna have to click accept accept click on accept okay so when you do that then the next thing we're gonna have to do is do the rendering and once again to show your camera preview all you gotta do is hit zero and move this timeline forward okay okay um, because because I don't want this tutorial to take too long what I'm gonna what I have to do right now is uh, um, you know, like reduce the length of the video uh, intro I'm trying to show you guys so yeah so I'm just gonna have to reduce the length to about 120 I think 120 because it goes a little bit faster like it ends a little bit, it ends faster when you um, reduce the uh, the frame yeah so to play all you have to do is just hit the play and it automatically plays that for you okay and it also depends on how fast your computer processor is if you have a really fast processor you shouldn't have much problem with the way um, rendering works because blender might be a little bit intense and most of the times the meshes might um, have uh, um, a lot of texture details around it so you might want to be watchful with that as well um, but I'm just gonna leave my ad to 120 right now yeah so yeah so the next thing we're gonna have to do is um, click render and uh, click on the animation so that's the that's all we gotta do right now so I'm just gonna have to click animation and we're gonna have to wait till um, it finishes and I'll get back to um, the video setup and in most cases you, we might wanna you know upload to YouTube and see what it looks like up there okay so in this case I'm just gonna have to click on animation till it animates for us as you guys can see it's going pretty fast I'm at the 21th frame already um, you know as I said earlier it depends on your uh, computer um, speed your processor speed okay so I have a pretty fast processor so it's not gonna take that long at all all it takes is your patience you know and um, the next process will be uploading to YouTube As you guys can see, my rendering of 120 um, frames is already ended, so I hope you guys will appreciate this. If you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Um, and uh, I, once again, thanks for watching my video. Um, and uh, before I go, uh, let's see what the video looks like. It's supposed to be on my desktop. Okay, so this is what it is. Yeah. So I'm just gonna have to play and see what we got. Okay. So as you guys can see, it's a Reddit video version of what I already have. So it's going to play for a couple of seconds, repeat itself. Yeah. I think it's only three seconds. And 120 frames is about three seconds. So yeah. So it's not gonna take. Yeah, it shouldn't really take that long um, for some. Um, strong processors okay so um so all we gotta do is just go to a youtube channel and 
um, click on this, uh, drag this to this side, and I'm just gonna have to just upload. And as you guys can see, it's not really that big of a file. Uh, let's go to properties. It's only 496 kilobyte. Uh, if you multiply that by, let's say, uh, four, you know, that shouldn't really, you know, um, take long at all. Yeah, so the frame might not be in 720p. Um, at this point, it's at uh, I think it's 360p, and it, it's and I think it's because we only rendered it at um, 12, 80, 720p at the medium. Oh no, at the half uh, quality. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, once again, if you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and uh, subscription to my channel. And um, once again, thank you. Thank you and have a wonderful night. Peace.